Hi everyone, it's Jessica. It's PlannerCon day one. It's 6.30 in the morning and I'm headed to San Francisco. If I'm talking a little weird, it's because it's the morning. I have not had any coffee. I have coffee to go. I have my planner. I have a huge bag of stuff. It's not planner related. Anyway, oh my god, I'm gonna have to edit this clip so much. But uh, we're gonna take off. Hopefully we get there by eight o'clock and I register and everything is great. So this is gonna be the weirdest intro ever, but here we go. So the drive was beautiful. I wish I could show you, but um, I'm pretty sure I can't use this camera and drive at the same time. But I'm here now and the drive went, went really well. It's like eight o'clock. 8.09, so good time. So I already ended up buying something. I got this little charm for Nathan because this is his favorite guy right now. So, And then I got a little free heart charm as well. So I'm waiting for the fashion versus function workshop with Erin Condren and look who I ran into! Kayla and Alex from Oh Hello. So that's neat. Hi! <laughs> Okay. Of course, right? What was the best part of San Francisco? We're going to do that, I think, tomorrow or the next day. Um, I think all of it. It's like the culture here. I love it. Take it. All right, so that was really fun. Uh, now I've got like three hours of speakers, so we'll see how this goes. So I'm all by myself again, and I'm waiting for the Ryan Taylor workshop speech thing. I don't know what we're talking about, but I will soon find out. But I am so thrilled you are all here for PlannerCon 2018. So let me ask you, how are we doing so far? And how about those swag bags? We have been blessed and by so many vendors and sponsors and people who companies that couldn't be here today that are donating stuff to you. And we also, besides the swag bag, we have a fabulous raffle that some of you already bought prize uh, tickets for. And I will be starting, starting with this speaker. After he is finished, then I will give away five raffle games. So it will, so Brian Taylor and I have been, um, we've been working together for almost five years. He is my mentor, he is my coach, he is my trainer, he is the one who is um, totally honest with me and tells me things I don't want to hear, um, and he's my friend. I did work and with everybody up there and trained personally with them. So one of the things that I like to bring up things like that is not to impress upon you that that's so neat. It impresses me, to tell you the truth. Because I'll tell you more about myself from where I came from, kind of as we unfold together today. But I'm still kind of looking back and going, wow, those are some pretty cool people. How the heck did I get there? I mean, I'm a, I'm a high school kid. I got, and I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about my nonprofit, but I, I got kicked out. I, I, was, I was on the streets when I was 17 years old. I was selling drugs. I was out of control next year. And then what happens next year? Same thing, because they're still getting ready. 
So I'm really going to be uh, impressing upon you today, action, 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 action. I'm a results dude. That's what this whole thing is going to be about. That's where I entitled this, how to squeeze more out of your day, week, month, year. Because that's really what it's about, at least from my opinion. So anybody can come along and say, oh, make it a little better, right? You come through and get 2% better. That's so uninteresting to me whatsoever. I have one of my clients that has a real estate broker right now. I have bumped their sales 30% in 30 days, 1% per day. the best laid plans, okay? And the reason I want to talk about that is because so often as people who really want to create the life they love, we tend to focus on certain things and we plan things and we organize things and we do our best to make things happen a certain way, but we know that that does not always occur, right? I will give you several examples. Reset opportunities. And we all have moments of, of doubt in our ability. And there are struggles in the planner community for some of us because as much as we enjoy being planner girls and we enjoy being part of it, sometimes we do feel um, we don't fit in, we don't, we're not as good as, we're not as creative as, we do a lot of that in our mind. And when we have events like this, for some of us, it's a struggle to show up. Some of us bought our ticket and then didn't come because it was too much at the last second. Like the reality of I gotta really show up. <laughs> and I went through that, not that I would uh, bail on you guys, but I went through that too. It's it, For an introvert, it's a little hard to show up, even when it's gonna be something fun, like planners, right? We all love planners. This is like the event we've like been dreaming of. We get to be among our brethren and talk about Rashi and, and, and no one's gonna judge us here. <laughs> So um, what I wanted to share with you was some of the, the things, the takeaways from the last 10 years of my life and how I became the reset girl and the three like things that I walked away from that experience and what I bring into the planner community now. The flag that I fly, the, the beacon that I, the light that I shine, like I want those women who are attracted to this story to, to come to me, to feel like I'm your friend. So many of you say I, I turn you on in my craft room on TV. my job and I kept applying for the same job over and over again because that's what was on my resume. It wasn't, I wasn't good at it at all but I kept applying for it because that's what I could get. Is there going to be a PlannerCon 2018? I think we all know the answer to that. Yeah. <laughs> and B, where is it going to be? Well, I will tell you this. I have been approached by so many hotels in the last 24 to 48 hours that are seeing what has happened. I was approached three weeks before that by two hotels in this area. So planner content. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> 2018. Now. So I said this a little earlier, but I think my phone cut me off while I was vlogging. Um, I'm done with all three speakers now. They all had something really awesome to say, so that's really cool. Um, kind of not only applying to planners, but also like my life, so that's helpful. Um, and then uh, Corey's speaker went a little bit longer, but that's totally fine because she was probably my favorite like about you know her whole thing resetting your life and uh, so I've been waiting I got some coffee because I've been up, up since 6 a.m. and I normally go to bed at like 1 a.m. and then I have a lettering workshop and then that's all of the agendized items for my day agendized the words I use I don't even know who I am
Also, there's like a huge line to meet Aaron Condren that I'm not in, but that's okay. When you use a pen, like the one you have in front of you, this is a brush marker pen. It acts like a paintbrush because when you put pressure on the pen, you actually write really good intro so that when you build our letters, you can put them together. They're like the puzzle pieces, then you just build them into making your letters. Stroke, did you guys notice that? So edge and stroke, lift up and off the page. Oval, lift up and then my underturn. This really makes or breaks your lettering. When you get faster and you're, you want to write this at an angle, you can set yourself up with a slant line. And, um, what else do I want to share? Oh, another. All right, so that's a wrap on Planner to Con. <laughs> I can't even talk. <sighs> All right, so that's a wrap on Planner Con day one. Uh, now I'm gonna pray that the parking garage lets me leave. <laughs> So I can go home and then drive back tomorrow for more fun. So before I call it a night, I just wanted to let you know that I am going to be doing a separate video on what came in this awesome loot bag that uh, the actual bag is from Oh Hello, if you don't know, I'm sure if you didn't realize, it's there. Um, and what else was I going to show you? Oh, I wanted to show you what I actually bought. So I haven't bought anything for myself yet, but um, come on, camera focus. I got this little, it's supposed to be a planner charm. Like she fixed it up for me to be a planner charm, but it, obviously it's Kylo Ren. This is only three bucks. And this is from Peace Aloha Shakas. I think that's how you pronounce that. Anyway, I got this for Nathan. I didn't like intend to get anything for him, but uh, I just thought it was really cute and... I figure he can put it on his backpack, and Kylo Ren is his favorite character. Han Solo is mine, so I think you know how I feel about this, but <laughs> I just thought it was so cute. They had a bunch of Star Wars characters, so. Anyway, and then they were also giving out little free sparkly heart planner charms, so this one I might actually put on my planner, but yeah, okay, that's it for tonight. You know you're really an introvert when you get home from a whole day of socializing and are so excited to see that your roommates are not home. <laughs> That's what happened last night. Now it's PlannerCon day two and it is 6.20 but it looks like 5.20 because we had daylight savings time start. Yay! Um, it's going to be nice for tonight because it'll be lighter out later which helps with the drive home. Although like last, the drive is not very bad at all. I get like really anxious about driving long distances, but this is like not a longer distance than I've driven before. I used to drive back and forth from Berkeley all the time because that's where I went to college. Not all the time because I didn't bring my car there, but like I used to drive back and forth from there like a few times a year. So I don't know why I was so nervous about this because it's not that big a deal. I drive all the time for work, so. And I've gone to places I definitely didn't know for work. I'm babbling. I need to get driving. See you soon. Are you totally that person who drives to the top of the parking structure because you just don't want to deal with parking inside one? Because that's totally me and I'm not even mad. Some of you asked if you could wear pajamas here. I envisioned Aaron Condren pajamas walking through the whole. <laughs> I figured everyone's coming in pajamas. What the heck? And I feel like that's what we're here to do this weekend. I really do. I feel like we're here to be creative. We're here to motivate one another, and hopefully that you will be inspired. Uh, to do something of your own, something that, that charges you. I know there's, I don't know if she's in this first group, but there was someone that was at another conference and heard a lot of this um, speech here today, and she left. Did she hear the author? Maybe she's in the next group, but um, she left the last conference that I spoke at, and she wrote a book. It had been on her list of things to do, and in fact, I think we got her name and and you have no idea what this was just by looking at it. 
you can kind of figure out what it's supposed to do. No instruction manual. Maybe you dig with it, maybe you write on it, maybe you fan yourself with it, but it's something that is readily accessible to your brain without a lot of instruction. Also, can you see how much information is in it at glance? You can. You can see it only contains this much space. It can't get bigger than this. Well, if it's to reason, it can, but, <laughs> you know. So this would be considered an analog device. Thank you, my dear. A digital device, however, is one. If you were an alien and you didn't know what this was, it's not readily available to you what it does. Does it, do you dig with it? Do you eat with it? Do you put it on your head? What do you do? Unless you turn it on, you can't tell what it does. Any entrepreneurs in here? Few. Good. This is where you can get caught up in stuff. You can start, oh my god, there's that to do, and the next thing to do, and I've got to get that done, and if I don't do that, then I can't do that, and then where do I go from there? Right? So you've got to figure out planning, set up a planner, do what is actionable, and then organizing is just, you can hire someone to get organized, if that's what you need. Yes, at all. If you have a little bit of time, go for the good. And thinking about show.com. How many of you have been there multiple times? How many have been there multiple times and still didn't get it? This is why you're here. You're here for Bullet Journal 101. I just remember going there and thinking, migration, collections, da 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 and I just felt so overwhelmed. And it really took me a while, you know, to have that light bulb moment that said, yeah, right, I get it. So to, you know, enter in an, into a different category, like I collect quotes. And then I'm pretty much done for the day after that, so I'm not sure what I'll do after that. I'm toying with the idea of going over to Berkeley on my way home, because it's on my way home anyway, but we'll see what happens. in my car so I'm not gonna sit in here and show you this but this is what we got in the Erin Condren workshop well not really workshop her keynote speech this morning is a table tabletop calendar so that's really cool and then she also surprised us with this sorry um, package with uh, one of the designer sticker books $25 to use and the special planner con sticker sheet and then of course in this gold clutch so that's really cute and it is so warm like it's only in the high 60s but because the sun is out it feels so warm which is kind of nice but I also sort of expected like clouds and cool
cooler weather because this is the Bay Area, but I don't know. I'm glad to see the sun after the winter. <laughs> Okay, so clearly I'm still a five-year-old who can't color within the lines, but I grabbed and they let us grab extra ones, so maybe I can practice at home. <laughs> but that is gonna be it for me at PlannerCon. I'm gonna head home now. Uh, there's pretty much I've pretty much done everything I can do, so I'm gonna go ahead and drive home in Sunday afternoon traffic. It's gonna be really fun. But thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. I'm so great. Yes, that's the shirt I was wearing earlier. I am wearing clothes. I just changed into my pajamas. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I am so grateful for all of this amazing stuff that was given to me this weekend, but I'm also like super overwhelmed by what am I going to do with it? Where am I going to put all this stuff? It's so pretty. I just want to leave it stacked on this chair forever. Like, seriously? It's so amazing to see this, and obviously I paid for a ticket, with, but to me that's like paying to have the speakers speak to you and people educate you, and all this stuff is just a fun extra. So I'm going to leave it here for now and figure out what to do with it later. I am, like I said earlier, I am going to be doing a What I Got at PlannerCon video, so watch out for that because that's going to be a fun video to film. <laughs> so this is the real end of this video, and thanks so much for watching this craziness, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!